the wicked grandma wanted to kill grandpa. After Dao Jun discovered her secret, he took out a small piece of paper as evidence, because grandma's seal was left on it. Grandma was panic-stricken when she saw it, and wanted to rush to get the small paper back. Dao Jun told grandma that I can keep this secret for you, but you should also keep the secret of grandpa's illness. Grandma said that she was never threatened, while Dao Jun said that it was not a threat, but a transaction. Grandma blamed Dao Juan for everything and said that this would not have happened if he had not appeared. Dao Juan turns to remind Grandma. Ten years ago, Grandma asked the Dao Jun family to come back to celebrate Grandpa's birthday, to celebrate Grandpa's <laughs> birthday. <laughs> Dao Jun comes to his Grandpa's room to accompany him. Grandpa asks why he didn't tell who the murderer was. Dao Jun explains that he hasn't found out yet. Grandpa asked why he said he would buy Sun Yang. Of course, Dao Jun can't tell the truth. Grandpa did not ask further, but only encouraged Dao Jun, if he persevered, his wishes would be realized. Dao Jun stroked his grandpa's hand and said he would do his best. At night, Dao Jun asks Min Young out. Min Young takes out a stack of materials and says that she has found some clues following the painting. Dao Jun didn't open the bag, but said to Min Young, please don't look into it again, let's close the case as an ordinary car accident. Min Young feels like a joke. As a prosecutor, she had to listen to the young master's order to investigate any case. She was very angry and took the things and left, saying that she would fight to the end. At the same time, Hyun Min asks Song Jun if he knows who copied the flowers and birds. Song Jun didn't answer. Hyun Min knew that he didn't want to say it, and her didn't force him. The next day, Song Jun found Hyun Min's father, a Korean media tycoon, and asked his father-in-law to do him a favor. Father-in-law did not refuse and they successfully reached a cooperation. The next day, the newspaper published the rumor that Soon Young Auto was going to be sold, which led to the stock price falling all the way. The shareholders were furious and even asked for a shareholders meeting to remove the grandpa. When grandpa received the notice at home, he called several sons to have a meeting together. The manipulator behind the scenes wanted the prince's rebellion to appear in the Chin family. Uncle Yoon hurriedly explained that he never operated behind the scenes, because the share price of Soon Young Auto fell too much and shareholders still complained. The son-in-law also proposed that, in order to quell the public grievances, he should invite grandpa to attend the hearing and publicly clarify that this is a rumor. Grandpa didn't say a word. On the other side, Dao Jun and Uncle Hyeno are also analyzing the situation. Hyeno points out that the Sunyang auto crisis is a trap, and the target is Dao Jun, because the debt of Sunyang auto now exceeds 4 trillion won, who can make up for such a big loss. Naturally, Sunyang finance has the most money, but as long as Dao Jun pays to save Soon Young Auto. With such huge debts, Dao Jun is bound to get into big trouble. It also proves that the old chairman chose the wrong successor, which is to kill two birds with one stone and eradicate Grandpa and Dao Jun. Dao Jun also thought it was reasonable, and asked Hyeno what month was the hearing. Hyeno said it was June. Dao Jun suddenly remembered that in June 2002, Korea hosted the World Cup which will usher in unprecedented business opportunities in Korea, 